Yo, what's good guys, it's JD here, hello and welcome to 2022, and welcome to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. Hope everybody had a very nice New Year's Eve, and I hope your 2022 is starting off very nicely, because our 2022 on this account is indeed starting off very, very nicely. Yesterday, if you didn't see, go see, we bought our first Opal of the Year. And it wasn't just the first one for me, it was, well it wasn't quite the first on the auction house, but it was the second Opal Luca on the auction house yesterday, which is crazy. Right now, 300k standard, 450, probably 500k um, after his Evo. We got seven figures to cash in today. Seven figures, that's ridiculous. We've also got a Happy New Year's locker code from 2k, which is a diamond contract shoe, or yeah, something else in there. I don't know, but I just want the diamond contract, so that's going to be the most MT. And we've also made some big strides for the collector level. Nearly at Pink Diamond Alonso. I'm going to show you guys what I've been buying, the prices. And now that we're going to get a lot of MT in this episode, he'll probably be coming home in the next few days. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos and check out Facebook for the daily streams, including FIFA 22 daily streams, facebook.com slash JD crossover. So first things first, um, new XP today. Uh, it's daily. Did we get anything else? Oh, hollow. Oh my god, they've finally remembered that holo cards exist as the first holo XP in so long. Um, and yeah, I don't really care about anything else. But one thing you'll notice, Lifetime Agendas, there's only one section for me now. Because we have completed all of the city floors. We managed to get 100 points with a warrior in the weekly challenge. And I managed to do it with Paul Arizin, of all people. Managed to get 100 points for me. Happy days. And that got us the pack from this challenge over here. So happy days. We do have another deluxe pack to open up. And we've also got our monthly PlayStation packs to open up. So I got all the court floors done, which is good. And that puts us at 2,288 cards. People are at this, which is crazy, 2,400. So we're about 100 behind like the top people. But I think that's really impressive on a no spend account. I think that's really good. So yeah, 80 or 12 more cards. Sorry, not 18. 12 more cards. We'll be able to get those in the next few days. And speaking about the next few days, there's not really any reason for me to play this game right now. Um, we've only got eight games left of Domination. That's it. For Trouble the Offline, 200 more wins in, in 12 days. Don't really want to do that, if I'm honest. Um, online play, there's, there's nothing left for me. Um, we've got to get the ring next weekend. That's going to get a Hall of Fame badge. Happy days. We didn't get Drummond. That's that. And also, beyond level 40, I don't even know if I'm going to do this because it's so intense. There's so much to do. I don't even know if I can be bothered to do all of that for one player. Um, we'd probably take, well, we would take Dan Marley. Are we going to get a shake out of any of these? Um, it would be Dan Marley for us, but, like, it doesn't really do it. Like, I still would never use him. He'd just be a card for the collector level. Do I care about doing all of that playing for one card for the collector level? Or would I rather just buy a card that's going to come in at, like, 60k or something like that later on down the line? I'd probably rather buy the card for 60k. Not going to lie. Right, final promo pack. And no shake out of any of those. But if there's going to be a shake out of any of these packs, well, I'd rather it comes out of this pack. A New Year's Resolution Deluxe Pack from the Challenge. Is it going to be good? It's just, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's just Steve Kerr. Already got him. Duplicate. Untradeable. We move. Right, let's go ahead and put in the locker codes from yesterday. So we've got my team. I don't think I've put this one in, actually. No, I definitely didn't. Um, and we want to get the pack. It's not a deluxe pack, but it is there. So this is my team New Year's resolution. Uh, my team New Year's resolution. And then the other one from today um, is also about New Year's. And again, it's, it's for something. It's not much, but... I guess it's better than nothing. Doesn't really give you a reason to play the game. It gives you a reason to log on and put a code in and then get a pack and then move on. But let's see if we can actually get the pack. Don't want the diamond shoe. I want to get the pack. It looks relatively easy to get it if we can just time it to go into corners like that. Don't go to the blue. Okay, cool. And of course, a standard pack is what we got uh, Luca out of. So, you know, it's good to have another Opal Luca in it. Could do. I doubt it. You never know, and it says locker code pack on it, so I doubt it. And let me just get the other code up, which is literally just Happy New Year's. No shake out of that. 76 rated gold. Big sad. Uh, and yeah, the fact that it says locker code pack, I always think, like, you know, is that you've lowered the odds on those ones compared to normal packs? I think it was, and I think it was actually proved last year 
as well. So for this code, it is a diamond shoe, it is a diamond contract, and it's also a diamond series one player, which is like 8,000 MT. So you don't really want that. You really want to get that diamond contract, which is the uh, light green. I guess we'll chuck it down here, try and hit the spinner a few times. We've hit one. The diamond shoe in the middle. Go green, go green, go. Hey, I'll take it. I'm not mad at it. So two tokens, but a diamond contract coming through. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. It's another sort of 15,000 MT being added to the collection. And we're about to add a lot more than 15K to the collection in just one second. So we'll send this smoke auction out so I don't accidentally put it on a player, which I've definitely done before. And I'll quickly give you a rundown of how I've got to nearly 2,300 cards. Not there just yet, but nearly. Every Series 1 card, or every base set card, and now every Series 1 card. I picked up all the diamonds, so we've got every base and Series 1 card in the game. Every jersey in the game. Every miscellaneous item, arenas, playbooks, logos, basketballs, court floors, and coaches. Every single one apart from two. Only two I don't have, Monty Williams and Quinn Snyder. Other than that, I own everything in the game. Premium sets. We are missing a few diamonds. So I don't have diamond draw Williams and Shaq. Prime time, just missing one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds. Flash, just missing diamond penny. Flash glitched, missing diamond to Kembe and diamond clay. Signature series signed, missing signed Draymond. Unsigned, missing unsigned Jamal Crawford. Dunktober, just missing pink diamonds. Limited edition, just missing pink diamonds. Moments cards, missing Jimmy Butler, Miles Turner, OG Ananobi, and Lou Dort. Alter Ego, got everybody. Um, everybody here, yep. Yeah. All of the diamonds and amethysts from that set. Mystic, just missing James Harden. Maxed out, missing Andrew Wiggins. Iced out, missing Bill Russell. And, well, that's it. I've then got everybody in the game. Where have I, Where am I missing 100 more cards? I don't know. Did I list off 100 cards there? I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, over here, uh, we haven't taken two pink diamond token cards, which I think is still the right thing to do. Haven't got Manu. Didn't get the RNG cards here, but we still have Cliff Robinson to add in. Um, and that's it. If we get Drummond, cool. If not, it's random. Uh, it's random to get Rolando Blackman. It's random to get Michael Red. Um... Who else do we need to get here? Kendall Gill is next weekend. And then Unlimited, we're not going to get Jason Richardson. So that's where we're at right now. We've got 736k, but it's going to be a lot more in just a second. Because here we go. We packed Luka Doncic yesterday. Oh my god, and it was a joke. I don't know how. First open pull of the year. It was the second one up. The first one sold for 1.15 million MT. That's what the first one went for. What did the second one go for? Right there. 1.082 million MT, seven figures, Luka Doncic. Oh my god. What a pack. It still doesn't even pay back for the packs we've opened in the past two weeks. Like, that's how many packs I've opened. So it's not like we're out here sitting in hella profit. No, no, that's not the case. But that's a lot of MT. The 10% tax is going to hurt, but let's cash this bad boy in. I didn't see how much that said, but I think it said 900k. 1.7 million with nearly 2,300 cards in the collection. Mm-hmm. We're looking good. And I am curbing my pack. I know I've just packed him, but, you know, even yesterday we only did... How many did we do in the end? We did 16 packs in the end. That's a lot less than what I have been doing. I did 50 for Kobe. We did 38 for LeBron and Curry. And then we did 16. And that's when we pulled somebody. I don't know, um, and it only took us three as well, which is crazy. So we're gonna we're gonna calm down on the packs, and we're just gonna focus on card collecting for the year. I don't think it's gonna be too long. I think it will be the start of season four when heat checks will drop, and as soon as heat check drops, that's 450 more cards added into this game. If we're on 2,300 cards, that means instantly just from buying heat checks, we can get this Travis pack here, which is you know it's a lot of shoe boost. It ain't worth much, not a lot, but it's honest work. Uh, we then get Galaxy Apple Iggy. Instantly, only 200 cards will get us Galaxy Apple Iggy. That's big. We get 100,000 MT. Not mad at it. It'll cost us more than that to get there, but at least it's something. We will get the Diamond Contracts and Hall of Fame badges. Five, hopefully. I mean, it's 10 cards. You'd assume it's five contracts, five badges, but I mean, you never know with 2K, do you? But those five off badges added on to the fact that we've got 14 sitting here, and we could be, you know, reasonably fast to it. We could be one of the first. We're definitely not going to be the first, and I'm not trying to be, but we'd be one of the first people to get those five off badges. If they are all S tier, 
and a card comes out and we can put 20 Hoff badges on, including Sniper and Interceptor and Limitless, whatever they may be, we could be getting another Monumental Payday. I don't know, that's super exciting. And then the one after that is a Mystery Player. Yeah, so the Mystery Player will be attainable, not for me at that point in time, but we could get 400 Heat Check cards and get those off badges. That's exciting. So we're kind of in a limbo right now. We're just going you know, to collect a few more cards. We'll hit Alonzo Morning. We'll get most of the diamonds in the game that are attainable. Uh, and then we're just going to wait for Season 4, I think. There's not really much else for us to do. 12 days to go. Are 2K going to give us any reasons to play in the meantime and in between time? I don't think so. But we'll have to wait and see. But that's going to do it for me today, everybody. Happy New Year's. And uh, happy Luka Doncic as well. 1 million MT. You'd love to see it. It's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please subscribe. See you next time, and peace.